Training camp is underway in the WNBA, and this season we have so many Gamecocks to follow. In Indianapolis, all eyes are on Aaliyah Boston and her new partnership with Caitlin Clark on the Indiana Fever. The last two winners of the Naismith Player of the Year awards, they are finding their footing as a duo everyone is wanting to see this season. Aaliyah Boston is, of course, the reigning WNBA Rookie of the Year, while Clark joins the Fever after being the number one overall pick at this year's WNBA draft. I told Liz before we even got to training camp that, you know, like our goal is to be that best post duo. I mean, I heard Camilla talking about her and Angel rebound. I said to Liz, I said, girl, listen, they are coming. And so I think just being able to see just her ability to continue to shoot the ball, make plays, attack from the perimeter, have that pull up jumper, and also be able to get down low and bang. I think sometimes, you know, with Liz playing at the four, they're smaller fours. And so she's able to post them up, really um, get, get to score. And so I'm really excited about what we can do. And with Caitlin too, just adding her in, I think you guys can see it when you guys come in and watch practice, Caitlin's ability to pass that ball, Caitlin's ability to get it into the post um, at the right angle and so it's going to be really good for us to be we know that hey we run Caitlin's going to find us and we got to make the right play just the biggest thing from whether it's people inside our locker room or whether it's people on the outside that I've talked to I think just like giving myself grace like it's going to be a learning period for me and but at the same same time like still have the same confidence and belief in yourself that you've always had like that's what's got me to this point of just being myself so uh, continuing to be me but also like there's going to be things for me to learn and I'm going to learn very fast you know there's not much time to mess around. So I think continue to be myself, but also like give myself grace in that too. And in Chicago, the Final Four's most outstanding player is underway with the Chicago Sky. South Carolina's Camilla Cardoso hitting the practice court with her new squad that includes LSU alum Angel Reese. Cardoso is coming off a season that saw her lead South Carolina to its third national championship in program history. And today, Cardoso spoke about the quick adjustment to the WNBA and what she's learned these first couple of days. I learned a lot. Um, we learned a lot of plays, and I learned about a lot about the WNBA. First, I came here. I didn't know what to expect, how it was gonna be. Everybody always told me like, "Oh, it's gonna be like a job. Everybody's competing." But these girls actually showed me so much love. They helped me a lot, like learning the plays, and just like being able to get through drills and stuff like that. So it's amazing. I think the the main goal is to come here and do what we do, what we used to do in college, because. If we're here today, there's a reason, and it's because they watch what we did in college and they liked it. So they go for us to come here and step on this gym every day, just work as hard as we work on college and execute every single thing that we do.